name's Mike Turney. I'm 46 years old. I'm from Racine, Wisconsin. Um, I'm applying for the face-off program. Uh, I had a friend of mine who saw my costume at Halloween and uh, thought it was really something special. Um, I've always been interested in uh, movie film and uh, television special effects for makeup. Um, I guess I've been doing this since I was about seven years old. Um, I had a picture of myself dressed up as a wolf man, which was really very cheesy for uh, looking at it now. Um, I guess my favorite movie that I saw that really interested me in doing movie effects was American Wild Wolf in London. Uh, when I saw about Rick Baker and Done with the Wolves, I was just blown away. I was, it was just fantastic. Um, ever since then, I've been um, building every year uh, for costumes for Halloween. Um, I've learned quite a bit about what to do and what not to do. It's been mostly trial and error. Um, and using what I have available, which uh, sometimes it's fun having to uh, travel distances um, to get the supplies and material to find what I'm looking for. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this, and hopefully I show you something that you're interested in. Thank you. This is the first part of the design that I'm doing. It's going to be a modern-day Frankenstein. Uh, these stitches I have actually designed myself, and they are quite pliant and realistic-looking. Uh, I started by gluing them down onto my face and then applying liquid latex over the top of it to simulate the, uh, the stretching of the skin. Okay, this is step two. I've uh, taken liquid latex and uh, tissue paper and I've applied it on my skin to corrupt uh, the skin to make it look like there's wounds, wrinkles, scars, abrasions. Um, it's multiple layers placed over and wrinkled over the top of that and then filled in with latex. I also added one other small piece of stitching right here so it looks like the nose is added, the end of it is. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is start shading things in. Hi, I just uh, finished up shading in some of the areas that are going to be darkened in with blood uh, to make the uh, prosthetics pop out more. Um, I've gone with a uh, lighter brown and a darker brown. Uh, the darker brown I used in the cheekbones around the temples, and the lighter brown I used, it's a brownish red, like a rose color. I used that around the, uh, the eye sockets because I wanted it to look more raw instead of just brown. Uh, next step is going to be to start applying some of the makeup over the top to show where the prosthetics are sticking out. I filled it in with a very pale base uh, to go over all the detailing and the shadows that I put in around the, uh, the forehead, around the, uh, the eyes, up in around the nose in here. And I went in with some like a maroon color makeup in the wounds to actually make them stand out when I put the blood in them. Um, so that's about on this side here, it's about two different layers of color in there to give it uh, a stressed look and a kind of a ripped flesh look. The area that I just finished working on was uh, around the lips. I wanted it to look like the blood was drained out of my lips, so I used a uh, what's called a ghoul's gray. And then I took the uh, sponge that I was using and I went back into of this area here to bring up the highlights of the, uh, the wrinkles and the tissue. Um, I uh, checked this area back over here, went into it with a little bit of uh, like an orangish yellow to make it look like the, uh, the fat that's in between the, the actual muscle tissue and the skin. Um, and I put a little bit of that up in here also. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is um, Probably powder this down, make sure that it's all um, it's all basically soaked into my skin properly and it doesn't look uneven. And then uh, powder it and then put the blood on. And that should be it. Yeah, I just uh, finished powdering the makeup. Um, one thing that I did do before I powdered it was I added a little bit of a different flesh tone to the nose to look like it was 
attached but not attached totally successfully like it is uh, a little bit paler than normal flesh tone um, I powdered it to uh, to set the makeup that's up in here to soften it up a little bit um, I went over all of it in here into the beard and then I took a brush and I brushed out the eyebrows and I brushed out around in here um, which is nice because the powder itself actually gives it a um, a softening effect where you can't get in with the makeup uh, and also the powder sets the makeup so um, that's where I'm at the next thing I'm going to do is uh, take and put the blood effects onto it and uh, I'll come back and show you what the final is well it's finally done I got the powder got the prosthetics on got the blood the scabbing everything on it now um, some of the things that I did to it uh, were put a wound through the head, like the victim was bludgeoned with something or shot. I did the uh, nose that was reattached to the face to make it look like he was uh, either missing his nose or they tried to sew it back on because part of it was missing. Uh, I did uh, drag marks which are on the side of the face right here. It looks like it was drug over gravel. Um, it has a uh, bruising slash uh, bursting of the skin um, and then underneath the eye here I also did that to make it look like it was yanked down by something by an object uh, surgical instrument maybe and then the uh, the touch that I did to this right here I did this because I wanted it to appear that maybe they used a gaffing hook to pull the body up and out of something which would be where it snagged it here on the inside and across here and that's where the point of it came out so that's uh that was what I came up with um, I hope it's something interesting or at least worthy of your time um, and I had a lot of fun doing this I, I really enjoy um, doing special makeup effects like this uh, you never know what uh, what kind of things you're gonna find as you're going along uh, that work better uh, that look more realistic and uh, it's always a learning experience which is good so thank you for your time